you know, one of the, the, the challenges of 2020 has been the COVID and the, uh, the pandemic um, and just the uncertainties that, that the Christian marketplace has, has seen. And, and I agree with you, Bob, it, bringing them here, bringing them into one location. Uh, I know some were still a little apprehensive about coming, but those that have come have come ready to buy, uh, to, to get their stores prepared, to face their marketplace. And that's encouraging. That's exciting to see like-minded people coming together and facing the challenges that we have together. So you've been doing this. You've been with Genesis Market Group, Marketing Group for some time. Tell me just a bit about what you do. Give us a, right. some understanding as far as kind of how this works. Right. Well, Genesis Marketing Group has been around about 50 years this year. And, Congratulations. Um, well, thank you. Thank you. We started uh, 50 years ago. Um, uh, Dana Sullivan started the company to bring publishers, products, books to the Christian retail market. And uh, with that... Uh, for 50 years now, we've been bringing publishers. Uh, probably 30 years ago, we began to work in gift products. So today, we're one of the few rep groups that are bringing publishers and gifts to the Christian marketplace. So as you prepare to speak to the retailers and others that are gathered here at the CPE show tonight in this building, what do you anticipate telling them? The thing that I've really been... Uh, kind of thinking on over the last weeks is, and, and I've been to Atlanta, to the Gift Mart show, to Dallas, and now to here, um, is just the unexpected that has come from 2020. Um, we all like to have certainties, and it, this has been anything but a year of certainties. Uh, but through all of those unexpected things, through pandemics, through the shutdown of our country, to, through retailers closing, and now being faced with strategic decisions that they've got to make through all of those unexpected uncertainties god has still been god mm. in the midst of those uncertain times and i think uh, i've seen stores uh, get out of their comfort zones and do facebook live events and and use instagram and 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 drive through christian bookstores and who would have thought a year ago that christian bookstores would be drive through retailers yeah. And, and yet they've done that and, and they're doing that and they're surviving and God is being faithful in them doing those things. And as we look at the way that Christian products come to market, you have a tremendous online retail or you have a tremendous amount of online retail opportunities that are out there. People can get Christian books, Christian music, other Christian products in a variety of ways. What do you see as the advantage of a bricks and mortar retailer versus someone just going to their computer because there are all sorts of ways that they can get it and they can price shop and they can get it delivered to their home. They don't have to leave the home. They don't have to put on a mask. So what is it, what's the, the advantage here of, of a bricks and mortar retailer? I think the, the main advantage is building the relationships. It's, it's having someone that, as, as, as people come in your store, you engage them. I mean, I know bookstores that, that have prayed with people in their stores. Uh, th there's nobody at Amazon that's going to pray with you. Um, and so <laughs> I think that is a unique situation that, that our Christian brick-and-mortar stores uh, can respond to. Uh, that, I think, um, just knowing the product. Again, you can go on Amazon or, or any online retailer and look at a, a, a picture on the screen, but in the store you have somebody that has knowledge of that product and can share, uh, that can tell you the difference between an NIV and an NLT and a KJV, that can, can help you understand maybe the product better and more speak to the needs that you really have. So I think there's some unique challenges that come with brick and mortar because in a, in a world where everything seems to be all about the cheapest thing, sometimes brick and mortar isn't the cheapest, but the ministry aspect that they bring sits them apart. 